goes a Goku Black. Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the PB Eats Kitchen. I am your host, Chef K, and today we will be making the cheese sauce that has been so heavily requested uh, when I made my creamy mac and greens. And yes, you're gonna get a two for one today because we're gonna start with the cheese sauce first and then we're gonna make this wonderful creamy mac and greens dish. Uh, we'll be using our inducto today. We'll be using our oven. We've got some stuff already set up for you. But before we get into this video, obviously you made the request for uh, the recipe of the cheese sauce that I made for those uh, creamy mac and cheese creamy mac and cheese, creamy mac and greens, and you'll understand why in just a minute. So make sure you go ahead and like this video. Uh, don't leave without liking this video. Subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit that bell and get all notifications so you can see more great content, more great recipes, yummy, yummy food, and of course me, this wonderful personality. So let's get started with our cheese sauce. First thing you wanna do with your cheese sauce get all of your ingredients in place because you don't want to be running around you don't want your cheese sauce to burn okay so the first thing we have here um, I'm just gonna go out of order the way I have them set up a little bit we've got some vegan butter I use earth balance it's soy free um, it's definitely gluten free if you want to make this recipe gluten free I believe with everything that we have here today this is a gluten free um, focus recipe you can also make it soy free um, we will be using soy milk I'll tell you about that in just a second so um, let's just focus on the gluten-free aspect and then I'll give you some other options. So we have about a quarter of a cup of Earth Balance butter. We've got some cassava flour to keep that gluten-free aspect. Um, this is about a third of a cup plus three tablespoons. I'm sorry, three teaspoons, not tablespoons. So a third of a cup, three teaspoons just to thicken up the sauce. We also have our nutritional yeast. This is about a quarter cup, maybe a little bit more because I really love nutritional yeast, AKA Nooch. And so we'll be doing, um, using a little bit extra here because this is what makes it really cheesy. Um, we also have our salt. We've got our pepper, pepper mill. We also have our vegan cheese. We're gonna use Violife mozzarella shreds today. I'm gonna to use this whole bag. I'll probably go in the fridge and grab a little bit more because we like our sauce extra cheesy. And we have our milk today. We're using three cups of your favorite plant-based milk. This is soy milk. However, if you wanna make it soy-free and gluten-free, use an alternative. Um, you could use oat milk, you can use almond milk, you can use rice milk, hemp milk, whatever plant-based milk you have in your fridge. And also, one thing you want is for this to be warmed slightly. You don't wanna put it in ice cold when we actually add in all the other ingredients because then it'll clump up, okay? All right, let's start making this cheese sauce. So I've got my handy-dandy egg spatula here. We're gonna put in our butter. We're gonna melt that butter down. And once we get that butter melted down just right, we're gonna add in our flour and mix it around. Good, looking good. All right, so we're gonna sprinkle in our flour and mix it in. This is gonna get it nice and thick. So we wanna make sure we get the flour incorporated with that butter. You do not want all that extra flour sitting out on the side. See how it's getting nice and clumpy here? This is gonna thicken our sauce up really nice. Okay, so from here, we're gonna add in our milk. Now we wanna make sure we break down that flour and butter mixture in the milk. This is already at a nice temperature, so we're just gonna let that go ahead and incorporate. Make sure we don't have any lumps and chunks in there. And it's gonna thicken up really nice. While we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our nutritional yeast. See how it gets that golden color? Like a cheese sauce. Now you could use this um, cheese sauce for pretty much whatever you wanna use it for. You wanna use it for baked mac and cheese, you can do that. Um, I actually shared this not too long ago with a friend, um, so she can make queso. You can actually add in some hot peppers in there. You can make it as thick or as creamy and um, 
what's it stretchy I guess um, you could do that however much milk you want to put in there for this uh, for the, our creamy mac and greens recipe we're gonna actually um, like I poured in the three cups of milk because that gets it just creamy enough to do what we need to do in our dish and it's gonna thicken up because we're gonna put it in the oven with our um, macaroni and then we're, we also have some other veggies that we're gonna throw in there as well so while that's thickening up that's looking really nice right now good 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 we've pushed down um, broken up some of that flour that was in there see we got a few more clumps we're gonna just try to get all of those smushed in there good it's thickening up just a bit now if it's too too liquidy for you like this you could always add in a little bit more flour that's perfectly fine I may end up doing so because I'm using cassava flour now if you're using all-purpose flour um, with the amount that we started out with it will thicken up pretty quick um, cassava flour is pretty fine so we want to make sure you know we want to thicken this up uh, pretty nice so we may add just a little bit more in there and that's okay all right so we have that let's go ahead and add our spices in here garlic onion powder and mustard powder and stir that up and when we add our cheese that's when the business the like the real nitty-gritty getting down to the business is going to happen because it's going to thicken up really nice when we add our vegan cheese in there and like I said before, I think I may go for two packs of that cheese to make it super creamy. So that's what we're going to do. All I'm doing now is just these little spice chunks right here. I'm just breaking it all down in the pot for you. So that's why you see me press on the side of the pot here. And it's all good. I just don't want clumps and all that good stuff in there. And the sauce is thickening it up nicely. Yes, it's getting a little thick. We're going to go ahead and throw in that salt that we have. Remember, you can salt to taste. I use, um, I just use kosher salt. You could use uh, sea salt on all of my other dishes, like my raw food dishes. I use Himalayan pink salt. So whatever salt you have, use it to your taste, whatever you like. Just as long as it's not a salt lick, I think we're good. All right, so we're gonna let this boil a little bit, like come to a bubble, a little more than a simmer, and you'll see it begin to thicken up even more. And then that's when we'll incorporate our cheese. So stand by for that. All right, you guys, see how this, we went from having a, a super thin or like, I don't wanna say runny, but it was uh, a little thin in the beginning. Now, if you can see here, how when we turn the temperature up just a little bit I didn't even have to add any more flour this time this was perfect so it is getting thick look at that nice and thick now you can whisk your lumps out in your pot I like to use my spatula because I like to just take it and press the little lumps on the side and then I make sure I get it all back down in the pan when we add in our cheese oh look at that yes not that long this sauce is super easy to make pretty quick and the dish that we're gonna make with um, the dish uh, creamy mac and greens it's gonna be so simple like you just pop it right there in the oven all you have to do is boil some macaroni roast your vegetables make this cheese sauce I haven't even added in the vegan cheese yet do you see how thick this is this is why I say it can also be used as a queso all right, so while that is going, we're going to go ahead and add in our cheese. We have mozzarella shreds here. Um, we really like Violife because they're nut-free, soy-free, gluten-free. Pretty awesome. Just like mozzarella shreds. Oh, yeah. And it melts really great. So we're going to go ahead and mix that up. So if you want to make a queso and you can add your chilies in there you could get um, if you don't want mozzarella shreds you could get um, I know with Violife they make Colby Jack they make uh, cheddar slices uh, cheddar slices cheddar shreds as well look at that you guys so you can pretty much make whatever flavor profile you want this consistency is great for queso get yourself a nice dip 
I might even, you know, one of these days make some homemade tortilla chips, golden tortilla chips in my dehydrator. Make a cashew sauce, and then I can have like a raw queso. But for now, we'll use this cheese sauce for our oven dish, our creamy mac and greens. So you definitely want to give it, make sure you give it a good stir so that all of this melts down. I'm going to turn the temp down just a little bit so we don't scorch our cheese sauce at the bottom. Look how thick that is. Yes. And it's very cheesy melty. Check this out. You see that? Mmm. That's great, you guys. So we'll let this ju just go just a few more minutes and then I'm gonna set it off to the side and we're gonna get our water boiling for our macaroni. And I'll show you what we need to do next to make our creamy mac and greens. All right, we've gotten most of the shreds melted and I just want you to get a good look at that. Yes. And it smells so good as if you like the smell is it's so cool how you know they create these type of um, foods and make them plant-based because it almost smells like regular cheese but this is cruelty free and it's very creamy we've got it all melted down and the only thing I'm gonna do is move this to the side and we're gonna get our water boiling for our macaroni all right, you guys, so I, as promised, I'll give you a two for one today. We made our uh, creamy cheese sauce, and now we're going to actually roast our vegetables uh, in the oven for about 30 minutes. And this is the greens part of our um, mac and greens. So we have broccoli here. Normally, when I make this for clients, I do broccoli or I do some type of uh, dark leafy green, sometimes the uh, lacinato kale or dino kale as we know it. Um, it's a little more, it has a little bit more roughage to it, so it won't get slimy when you like roast it. Um, but today we're going to use broccoli. We also have our purple onion here, and it doesn't need to be diced. I just cut it up in chunks because we're going to roast it all. And then when we add our macaroni to it and um, our creamy cheese sauce, we're going to pop it in the oven with a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs on top, and it's going to be like a casserole dish. So whatever you have in your fridge as far as vegetables, broccoli is a good one for the greens. You could also use uh, green zucchini. You could use, um, you know, the... I don't know, hell, you could probably use uh, cabbage. Um, cabbage may tend to get a little watery, but whatever greens you want in your creamy mac and greens. Uh, broccoli is a, a sure win. I've done this several times, um, so I think you'll enjoy it. We put a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt, really, um, some olive oil, toss it around. We've got a little bit of Bragg's, and I also like to put liquid smoke on there. Usually when I make it with the mushrooms, um, the mushrooms have their separate marinade, and maybe we can save that for another day. But today, you've got broccoli, onions, and yeah, we're going to roll with that. Set your oven to 425, put it in the oven for 30 minutes, and we will see what it looks like in just a minute. All right, everyone, so we have already boiled the pasta. If you're not quite sure how to boil pasta, I highly recommend that you read the directions on the box. We wanted it al dente, so we've actually boiled our elbow noodles for seven minutes with our induction. And um, I've already boiled them, drained them. Um, I've put them in a large bowl with the mixture of the um, broccoli and onions here. So I'm just going to give that a stir. So there's a lot of macaroni. If you want more greens, I just use one box of uh, macaroni because it's more of a like a macaroni casserole type dish but if you want more greens feel free i use um three small heads of broccoli one whole purple onion but you can put whatever you like in there and we're going to go ahead and add this cheese sauce so it has been sitting off of the heat for a little bit because we did not want to burn it We've got that nice and creamy get like the extra little bits of cheese off my spatula here mm -hmm. okay and all we're gonna do is incorporate this you don't have to be too rough because the macaroni is nice and warm or still pretty hot it's gonna go ahead and melt that 
trying to run away onion get back in there um, it's gonna melt the cheese a little bit more and look at that so it's like baked mac and cheese already but we're gonna put it in the oven again to get it a little bit thicker and we're gonna add the breadcrumbs on top so you can pretty much stop right here and eat it um, if you like or if you want more of a casserole you can put it in there. You know the food is slapping when you hear this. Like, that's super creamy. And look at that ooey gooeyness. So for all of you that begged for this recipe, there you go. Look at that. Look at that consistency. That's not really stovetop macaroni in a box right there. That's thick. And especially for those who were used to making traditional mac and cheese, like myself, I'm from South Carolina, so we do several cheeses, sharp cheddar cheese. We add, you know, the milk and the eggs and do the egg white crust and all this other stuff with baked mac and cheese. Well, there you go, your plant-based version. I will feed the camera person once I take it out of the oven. <laughs> Hashtag feed the camera person because that little hand is gonna come out. So there we go, we've got it all incorporated. All I'm gonna do is pour this into a casserole dish. So I have my casserole dish here. I already oiled it and um, there's a little residual in there because I had the vegetables in here and I was gonna stir it up in here but for the sake of keeping my counter space nice and clean, I did not want stuff popping out of my casserole dish. So all we're gonna do is pour this in. want to make sure we get that mixture those veggies out of there and you're just going to put this back in your oven for about 10 anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to make your breadcrumbs golden on top and this will again like I said with that heat and everything being put together it'll get a little bit thicker in the oven and you have yourself some creamy mac and greens so let's go ahead and get that off today I'm using gluten-free breadcrumbs by uh, Ian's or Ian's however you want to say that I a and apostrophe s there's more cheese sauce in here so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my handy dandy spatula and get that out because I do not play is like a good couple of tablespoons of cheese sauce in here look at that and again like I said it has the perfect consistency for a queso so whatever you do do you boo you can make whatever you like all right just a few more scrapes here and there we go okay so I'm using grab my little rag here really quick using Ian's or Ian's breadcrumbs however you want to say that I say Ian's um, they're panko style they're gluten-free um, these don't have uh, the flavoring in them so all I'm gonna do you just you don't have to add a lot I just take it just like this and go across now if you want to coat the top of your casserole here with breadcrumbs, you can do whatever you like. But we're gonna keep it simple because it's already super creamy, yummy, deliciousness. I don't wanna have like a bread crust on top. So just gonna give it a little bit, a little scant action here. Do, do, do. Boom, there we go. We've got leftover breadcrumbs for later. All right, so this is gonna go into our oven here from I'm gonna put it in there for about 10 minutes, maybe 11 minutes. I just want the breadcrumbs to become golden on top. And um, once you pull it out, then it's ready to eat. So stand by, all right, 10 minutes. All right, one thing you wanna make sure too, because I almost forgot to tell you guys at home, um, when you roast your vegetables, it's at 425. When you pull those vegetables out of the oven, break your temperature down to 375. We're not trying to roast 
creamy mac and greens, okay? We're not trying to burn our breadcrumbs. We're not trying to make our macaronis crispy in the casserole dish. So bring that oven down to 375, and you're only gonna leave it in there for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how your oven runs and if you want them really brown or just a nice light golden brown on top, okay? 375, don't forget, because I know some of you out there are gonna leave that oven on 425 and you're gonna burn your shit. We don't want you burning food, okay? Turn it down to 375, all right? Just wanna let you know that, okay. And we're back, or maybe you never left because editing is a wonderful thing. Um, I pulled the creamy mac and greens out of the oven. When I tell you that it smells absolutely wonderful and it's super creamy and delicious, I want you to get a quick look right down here. Still hot, so I've got my pot holders here. Look at that. Didn't want the breadcrumbs too dark. They have some browning right there on the top. And I'm about to scoop and serve it up because the camera person is hungry. So I've got our plate here. And I'm gonna scoop from the corner. Ooh, wait a minute. Let's be very quiet so we can hear that. Do you hear it? Look at all of that juiciness. Oh. Mm. Yes. Got a little bit more right there. And there you have it. Creamy mac and greens with that coveted cheese sauce. We've got our broccoli, our onions, and it's looking good. Yes? Yes. All right, you guys, so that is the recipe for today. Please tune in for more content. As a matter of fact, leave your uh, questions and comments below, what you'd like to see, what you'd like me to veganize, um, if you have any questions about certain things that we can make. I know that I'm also on Instagram. I do quite a few lives um, from time to time. I've been trying to do them every day to show you all how active I am in the kitchen and things that I do. Um, so yeah, any questions that you all have, we'd love to uh, see them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, we wanna do more cool stuff in the kitchen and veganize whatever we can and uh, make it super tasty. So with that being said, um, thank you guys for joining me today. Again, I am Chef K of Plant Based Eats Kitchen. I am your community nutritionist, and we want you to go ahead and like this video, share this video, love us completely. Make sure you hit that bell to subscribe to this channel because when you walk through the door, make sure you wipe your feet and take off your shoes and go ahead and hit that like button. All right, so until next time, happy, healthy days ahead. Make sure you hydrate because it's hot as hell outside, and we will see you next time. Time.